Blessings, 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 beloved. I am Mama Bam, a.k.a. Pamela Dobson, and I do read, beloved, seven minutes every day so you do not have to read. Today we are beginning a new read, the book of Ruth, the book of Ruth. So let me see if I can pull back far enough so you can see what it's saying. It's the Old Testament book, the eighth book of the Old Testament. The author is the prophet Samuel. It was written between uh, 1050 and 1000 BC, covering the time period of 1150 uh, to 1150. Claims to fame, Ruth became the great-grandmother of King David after a good deal of refusing to desert her mother-in-law, who was from Israel. Her story takes place in mostly in Bethlehem, the future birthplace of Jesus, Famous stories include Ruth goes to sleep on the threshing floor to earn the trust of Boaz, a man she wanted to marry and who had been kind to her. And most famous verses, where you die, I will die and there I will be buried. May the Lord deal with you, be it ever so severely, if even death separates you and me. In that love, that's a daughter-in-law to her mother-in-law. Uh, the woman living there said, Naomi has a son. And they named him Obed, and he was the father of Jesse, the father of David, the genealogy of Jesus Christ. All right, you can see this flyer. I will be putting it on Facebook so you can see the flyer in its entirety. All right, let's get into the read. I've already gone a minute and a half into this. Didn't want to go that long. Reading from the King James Version of the Word of God, and it reads, Now it came to pass in the days when the judges ruled that there was a famine in the land. And a certain man of Bethlehem, Judah, went to sojourn in the country of Moab, he and his wife and his sons. And the name of the man was Elimelech, and the name of his wife, Naomi, and the name of his two sons, Malan and Chilion, Euphrates of Bethlehem, Judah. And they came into the country of Moab and continued there. And Elimelech. Naomi's husband died, and she was left and her two sons. And they took them wives of the women of Moab. The name of the one was Orpha, the name of the other Ruth. And they dwelled there about ten years. And Malon and Chilion died, also both of them. And the woman was left of her two sons and her husband then she arose with her daughters-in-law that she might return from the country of Moab, for she had heard in the country of Moab of how that the Lord had visited his people in giving them bread. Wherefore, she went forth out of the place where she was, and her two daughters-in-law with her, and they went on the way to return unto the land of Judah. And Naomi said unto her daughters-in-law, Go, return each to her mother's house. The Lord deal kindly with you as you have dealt with the dead and with me. The Lord grant you that ye may rest, each of you, in the house of your husband. Then she kissed them, and they lift up their voice and wept. And they said unto her, Surely we will return with thee unto thy people. And Naomi said, Turn again, my daughters. Why will ye go with me? Are there yet any more sons in my womb, that they may be your husbands? Turn again, my daughters. Go your way. For I am too old to have a husband. If I should say I have hope, if I should have a husband also tonight, and should also bear sons, would ye tarry them? Would ye tarry for them till they were grown? Would ye stay for them from having husbands? Nay, my daughters, for it grieveth me much for your sakes that the hand of the Lord is gone out against me. And they lift up their voice and wept again. And Orpha kissed her mother-in-law, but Ruth clave unto her. And she said, Behold, thy sister-in-law is gone back unto her people and unto her gods. Return thou after thy sister-in-law. And Ruth said, Entreat me not to leave thee, or to return from following after thee. For whither thou goest, I will go, and whither thou lodgest, I will lodge. Thy people shall be my people, and thy God, my God. Where thou diest, will I die, and there will I be buried. The Lord do so to me, and more also, if aught but death part thee and me. 
And when she saw that she was steadfastly minded to go with her, then she left speaking unto her. So the two went until they came to Bethlehem, and it came to pass when they were come to Bethlehem that all the city was moved about them, and they said, Is this Naomi? And she said unto them, Call me not Naomi, call me Mara, for the Almighty hath dealt very bitterly with me. I went out full, and the Lord hath brought me home again empty. Why then call ye me Naomi? Seeing the Lord hath testified against me, and the Almighty hath afflicted me. So Naomi returned, and Ruth, the Moabitess, her daughter-in-law, with her, which returned out of the country of Moab, and they came to Bethlehem in the beginning of barley harvest. Chapter 2 And Naomi had a kinsman of her husband's, a mighty man of wealth of the family of Elimelech, and his name was Boaz. And Ruth the Moabitess said unto Naomi, Let me now go to the field and glean ears of corn after him, in whose sight I shall find grace. And she said unto her, Go, my daughter. And she went and came and gleaned in the field after the reapers, and her hap was to light on a part of the field belonging unto Boaz, who was of the kindred of Elimelech. And behold, Boaz came from Bethlehem and said unto the reapers, The Lord be with you. And they answered him, The Lord bless thee. Then said Boaz unto his servants that were set over his reapers, Whose damsel is this? And the servant that was set over the reapers answered and said, It is the Moabitish damsel that came back with Naomi out of the country of Moab. And she said, I pray you, let me glean and gather after the reapers among the sheaves. So she came and hath continued even from the morning until now that she tarried a little in the house. Then said Boaz unto Ruth, Hearest thou not, my daughter? Go not to glean in another field, neither go from hence, but abide here fast by my maidens. Let thine eyes be on the field that they do reap, and go thou after them. Have I not charged the young men that they shall not touch thee? And when thou art the thirst, go unto the vessel, and drink of that which the young men have drawn. Then she fell on her face, and bowed herself to the ground, and said unto him, Why have I found grace in thine eyes, that thou shouldest take knowledge of me, seeing I am a stranger? And Boaz answered and said unto her, It hath fully been shewed me all that thou hast done unto thy mother-in-law since the death of thine husband, and how thou hast left thy father and thy mother in the land of thy nativity, and art come unto a people which thou knewest not heretofore. The Lord recompense thy work, and a full reward be given thee of the Lord God of Israel, under whose wings thou art come to trust. Then she said, Let me find favor in thy sight, my Lord, for that thou hast comforted me, and for that thou hast spoken friendly unto thine handmaid, though I be not like unto one of thine handmaidens. And Boaz said unto her, At mealtime come thou hither, eat of the bread, and dip thy morsel in the vinegar. And she sat beside the reapers, and he reached her parched corn, and she did eat, and was sufficed and left. And when she was risen up to glean, Boaz commanded his young men, saying, Let her glean even among the sheaves, and reproach her not. And let fall also some of the handful of purpose for her, and leave them that she may glean them, and rebuke her not. So she gleaned in the field. I tell you, ain't nothing like favor, ain't nothing like favor, ain't nothing like favor. This baby done ran across favor, but she ran across favor because she did kind. She did kind to her Oh, mama-in-law, she loved her, even though the son, the son was gone, the son didn't give her no children, but she stood fast by and look at her reward. I want to say thank you for being a part of the Smurf Club for your continued support and donation to paypal.me forward slash Pamela Dobson, uh, dollar sign Mama Pam 23, praise God. We are the Smurf, you can go to Smurf.club, see what's going on, Smurf.club. Uh, Smurf, we are Smurf, Seven Minute Read Family, Seven Minute Read Followers, Seven Minute Read Faithful Folk. We do broadcast across six social media sites, 16, rather, 16 plus. We broadcast Pacific Standard Time. We are back live Monday through Friday at 7 p.m. All right, just say you don't want to support us, sister. You don't want to help me, but that's okay. You can help me in another way. 
The beautiful jewelry that you see me wearing every day is number two, sevenminutebling.com. The health and wellness products that we have that you all need to be mindful of. I said I was going to show you. Here is this product, which is 99.9% .9 kills viruses. So the corona that we are all so concerned about, this will kill it. It is a 100% natural product. I think in here somewhere, as I said, I can't see. I'm looking, 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 looking right up in there. See all these various things? Corona is just a virus, and this does the same thing that the Clorox does, but it is not harmful to you or to the environment. So you need to get you some of that real quick, and for that, you would go to Melaluca.com, Pam23, Will Dobson. All right. Know that Jesus loves you, and I love you too. There is absolutely positively nothing you can do about it. We live in faith and not fear. Until God bless.